Tracking Jump Nation family, it's your boy here, Rushi S, aka The Jump Rope Coach. So I've got three killer tips, killer points on why I do use knots, how they help me, and why I would recommend that you guys start using them as well. So stick around to the end of this video. I'm gonna put two minutes on the timer. When you come back from that intro, we're gonna get straight into it. No messing around. Let's go. So the reason why I'm making this video today is I've been getting a ton of questions about why I use knots. A lot of you behind the camera have been noticing the knots on my videos. A little bit of talking, but hopefully you'll stick around to the end. I'll make sure I get you guys flying like bosses, like I always say, and get you into shape. These things are super important. If you haven't already, and this is the first time you're coming to Rush Athletics TV, be sure to subscribe and also pick up your money rope. This is the most in-demand speed rope on the planet, hands down. Check my links down below along with the discount code. So guys, we're gonna get straight into this video. I'm gonna get two minutes on the clock somewhere here or here. Always forget where it needs to go. Now, whatever size you are, guys, when you first pick up a speed rope, especially if you're a beginner, the knots will just allow you to just get a little bit more precise with your sizing. You can start to add two knots, one knot, start to skip. And if you don't get a feel for it, you can add another knot, for example. The money rope, of course, comes with an adjustment mechanism inside the handle, so you can start to change it from there. But I would always recommend using knots, especially when you're starting out, because for me, when I started out, I would always just keep a long rope, and it, I just found it difficult to do tricks, to be honest with you. The rope was a little bit too long, um, it would slap the ground too much, and it wouldn't give me really fluid transitions. As soon as I started putting knots in, I started to really understand the length that works for me. And also, another point to this is that when you start to do different moves, such as double unders, or crossovers you're gonna really realize how many knots you do prefer to have in the rope when you do these tricks especially for me again when I do squat jumps I like to shorten the rope and have four knots nearly sometimes um, just to make sure that I can get the speed I can generate the fluid revolutions that I need to complete that move and get a good workout in so that's point number one guys it's just quick it's precise point number two is all about the weight and the balance distribution that knot gives you. Now, I'm not really ranking these points what's most important, but I think this would actually be the most important when I think about it, because when you start to realize how many knots you need in your rope and start to get a feel when you're doing transitions and combinations, this really acts like a really great balance. You really get an understanding of your rope, where the revolution is exactly, what point the arc is at, uh, for you to start moving your hands and start doing different things and these kind of small pieces will give you much more fluid slicker routines guys I promise you I can't now skip or jump rope without knots because it just feels too weird when I'm when I'm skipping when I, if I don't feel that sensation that weight near my hands I just get a yeah just get a little bit lost with the timing and these really do help me with my timing the balance of the rope is something that is very unique to someone so if you've got two knots or three knots your own personal jump rope um, weight will feel unique to you and it's just like yeah it's like an extension of your arm like I say in some of my previous videos so when you do find the right system for you how many knots work for you um, how many on each side uh, you can get really precise with it but then you'll start to get that weight that balance and it will just make tricks just look so much more fluid just make it feel a lot more effortless because like I said you know exactly where you are in the arc in the revolution and your timing and your coordination is a lot more better I promise you third point guys is all about the aesthetics now someone talking to you about knots may not talk about the aesthetics of how a skipping rope looks when it's kind of in revolution I think people just don't really think about it but when I have kind of added knots compared to when I didn't have knots my rope my arc everything just looked a lot more better as soon as I added knots and I feel like this is just the whole aesthetics of the the routine now a lot of people say to me you know your your jump roping style looks quite slick rush even when you do the easy stuff like footwork um, just even basic crossovers it just tends to look really effortless it tends to look smoother and I feel like the knots are really helping with this point guys because like I said to you before it just creates a, a revolution that's a lot more fluid a lot more kind of just natural like when it when it doesn't have these knots I feel like the rope sometimes moves around a little bit especially when it clips the ground these weights just act like a really good momentum it just creates a momentum on the rope really and that's why I love it because it creates great loops great arcs when you're doing crossovers when you're doing double under crossovers and going into different transitions these really help to keep the rope in shape for me and at the moment I'm currently using about two knots uh, sometimes three so I have two on one side and I generally put if I'm gonna put 
kind of two on one side and one on the other, I will put two on my weaker hand. So I'll put two on the right hand side and then one knot on my left hand side because my left hand is generally dominant on each move. So you can just tinker with it guys, you can get really precise like I said. The aesthetics for me are super important when it comes to skipping. I want everyone behind this camera to look like bosses. I want heads to turn when you are skipping guys. I reckon I am... Um, I nearly made it to just two minutes, I'm not really sure. But if I didn't, bear with me guys. I'm gonna get I'm gonna get these two minute tutorial Tuesdays down, I promise you. So let me know in the comments below if you guys are using knots. Like I always say, I think they really do help in every single way, especially nailing kind of tricks and understanding how tricks work and, and just fluid combinations and transition. That's what my genre routines are always about. And yeah, hopefully you guys are looking or inspired to get to that same level as well. Always appreciating your love and support guys. Do give this video a big thumbs up if you found it useful and I'll see you in that next video. So without further ado, take care of yourself, skip the treadmill, stay safe, peace.